Hi everyone, hope you're having a fabulous day. Welcome to my channel, my name is Chitra Moon. Today we're gonna talk about who is too focused or too obsessed with you. Uh, we have four beautiful images in front of you. You're gonna go with the one that you're gravit you feel the most gravitated towards. Focus on the energy that the image brings, not necessarily the gender or what the image looks like. Mainly, you're looking for the energy that uh, the image brings to the thumbnail. You're gonna go with that one. So I'm gonna give you five seconds to choose one, starting now. Okay, hi, Pile One. Uh, a few things uh, to note before we start. If you'd like to book a reading with me, check the first link in the description box. Um, also, if you'd like to see more readings from me, check the second link in the description box. Please note all links to whatever cards I'm using will also be in the description box. Um, how this is going to work is we're going to mainly uh, first look at the cards. We're going to read the cards first, get a general idea of who's too focused, too obsessed with you. And then we're going to move into remote viewing. So if you've been here for a while, you know that... Um, you know, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been liking to do. Everyone's been quite receptive to this. So I am going to uh, tap into remote viewing and we're going to look at possibly names um, of people who are obsessed with you, initials, their zodiac signs. And then I'm going to get into specific type of situations that I'm seeing with particular type of people. Now, if you have not yet subscribed, it's really important that you do so seeing how I am remote viewing by subscribing something magical happens, I'm able to tune better into your energy uh, by doing so. So let's get on with the reading. Okay, so let's look at these cards. Um, who is too focused and too obsessed with you? Well, we have a plethora of different uh, messages coming through here. I feel like whoever um, is obsessed could be very, very strategic about this. We have the Seven of Swords. You might not even be aware of some of the people who are obsessed with you. Um, just because I see that two of swords and that seven of swords, it feels to me like someone is actively trying to not make it obvious, okay? I feel like there could be, for possibly for one person out there, um, a person who is in the workplace or someone who is even surrounding this person in their day-to-day -day life uh, with the Nine of Cups who wants to bring someone something forward to them but is not necessarily being that obvious about it. Now, with the Devil card here and the Seven of Cups, this could be obsession on hiatus, okay? Or not on hiatus, sorry, steroids, okay? Um, because Seven of Cups is very much like, it's a card of like thought form. It's a card of like, you know, daydreaming. It's a card of even maybe sometimes being delusional. And I feel like because it's under the devil, I feel like sometimes whoever's thinking about you, it can get out of whack sometimes. Sometimes to the point where the person is not even thinking straight. So there is somebody here. Um, there is a collective energy of people who are obsessed with you. But it's interesting because I feel like they're being very unique about it or like strategic. So with the Seven of Wands here, we have this card of um, unique ways on how to kind of you know, we're talking about obsession. So there's someone here who is being very unique about um, how they're obsessed. And it's interesting because we have the world card here. So I would be surprised if you have anybody who is online um, looking at photos, maybe checking up on. But this is going to be, again, a very strategic type of person. So you're not going to necessarily... Um, they're not going to make it obvious. So like you might be able to say, okay, well, who's liking my photos or who's constantly commenting? I don't know if I'm going to see that here. I just feel like I'm watching. Um, there could be one person who's also watching here who um, maybe had something of a like a like a like a cute love or a crush with someone who wasn't available. We have I am not available. I can't stop thinking about you, but I am not available is uh, very precise here. It's like staring me in the head in the eye story and um i feel like whoever is obsessed there could be one person here who is literally not even available and maybe that's why they're being so strategic okay this is actually um interesting too when i pulled this look for the signs and the synchronicities i feel like this girl is very in tune i feel like if you could if you decided to like focus on it enough you could probably suss out or figure out who this is i feel like with the 11 11 there could be some people here who have had like a very intense connection with somebody 
um, depending uh, or, you know, never mind how it went down, um, that person is also obsessed with you. So what I'm trying to say is that when you're obsessed with somebody, there's an energy that comes forward, right, from that person, whether there be that they're thinking about you, um, you know, uh, you've made an impact, okay, so like, it's like a residue now, and two people have it, so the energy is going back and forth between them. You could be actually receiving all these signs because that person is obsessed with you. So if there is somebody here who had an intense, again, a quite a connection with somebody, and um, they also can't get that person out of their mind, and they feel to some degree like, what's going on, I feel like I'm obsessed with them, they also are obsessed with you. That's why the energy is going back and forth towards you people, uh, to, back and forth between you two, okay? Um, I feel like there also could be someone here who's also um, has somebody that they're aware of, like, you know, that they know, um, that it could be like a friend or somebody who is within their vicinity who's not also being honest. I feel like we have here jealous and possessive, and I feel like I'm not good enough for you. So there could be someone who is, um, again, with this card, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, and they're not coming forward. And I feel like, okay, if you're a woman, this is definitely a male. Um, I don't know that I feel like if you're a man watching, this is about a woman. This feels very much to me like you may have somebody in your circle as a woman who is a male, could be very friendly, could be like, you know, that person who doesn't cross lines, you know, just very keeps it fluffy and light. That person also ha is obsessed, okay? And I feel like it says take action here. It's urging them to take action. So I feel like this person is becoming, I feel like overwhelmed with their thoughts of you and how they feel. Because again, with the devil and the seven of cups here to me, um, this is becoming um, a lot for this person to handle. So I actually wouldn't be surprised if um, like in the near future, um, this person says something about it, but it feels like a male and it feels like somebody who's in the group group. So this could be a friend or like even a coworker, but I feel like someone wants to actively bring something towards you. Like they want to, I feel like say something. Hmm. I wonder what will come up in remote viewing. You know, if this is not resonating, stick around. I always say stick around for the remote viewing because we just don't know what will come up with that. Okay. Um, this is just a general idea for the uh, people who are watching, but we'll get more into detail when we pick up with the remote view. But I just, I feel like there's someone who wants to say something. There's someone who wants to bring love forward. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know if that means something. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. And it could be that this person feels like they're not like good looking enough. Could be like that. So with this one, I'm mainly picking up um, two types of scenarios. Someone who, regardless if it's in the friend group, because um, again, this is general, wants to say something but is too worried about how they'll come across you might know this person okay someone is wearing a self um, mask in this relationship they're deceiving you and they're deceiving you because they're not uh saying their real feelings okay so you know the person and um just apply it to your situation it could be that you know them in a friend group or it could be that this is someone you felt a connection with <coughs> But I feel like they want to say something like someone wants to say something. They can't stop thinking about you. But <clears throat> there could be another group of people, too, where it's difficult because the person's not available. And I would be surprised if, you know, half of you didn't know who this was, because, again, this girl, she's like she's aware, you know, she could be maybe, you know, blowing it off and saying, hey, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting, maybe I'm not seeing this clearly. But I feel like she knows. And we have 11, 11 on the clock, and there's signs and synchronicity. So again, if this is someone that you shared like a deep connection with, this could be the person. Um, I will say, though, with this pile, um, you know, you could be very beautiful to this person. They can't help but uh, feel this way towards you. You know, with the world card, you're on the, you're like, on the forefront of whatever you do. So whether that be online or popular or likable, this person just feels like you are just like the most beautiful goddess they've ever seen, okay? And I feel like with the devil, um, it's hard for them because this is intense feelings, you know? This is obsession with the devil. And especially because it's sitting on top of the seven of cups, this person doesn't even know what to do with this type of energy. And that might be why you're feeling this, okay? So I feel like um, with this one, 
there could definitely be people just because thousands of people will watch this um who are not who's not aware of this um <clears throat> But there's definitely more people who are aware or they have an inkling of who this might be because they feel their energy. And it's interesting because um, this person needs to take action on this. And I think they will. Okay, I think they will um, in the near future. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. So I think now what we're going to do is um, we're going to move into remote viewing. So I'm going to pick the rose quartz up for you. And we're going to tap into... Um, we're going to tap into like um, uh, names, initials, and um, specific um, scenarios of who may be obsessed with you or too focused on you. So let's first start with like initials. And uh, please note that, you know, I might do some heavy breathing. That's just the way I get through my remote viewing. Okay. Um, it does take a lot out of me. And I am actually under the weather a bit right now, but I just wanted to, I felt gutted to bring this reading to you today. Okay. So for initials, I'm getting P. G, Z, N, R, F, M, A, and L. Okay, let's move on to zodiac signs. Aries, Aquarius. Gemini, Taurus, Leo, and Capricorn. Okay, let's go to the names. And again, stick around because the specific, specific scenarios will be coming last, okay? So you don't want to miss something that might be there for you. <laughs> let's go to names now. Okay. Dominic, Luke. Roberta. And again, this might be your name, um, or it could be the person who's obsessed with you. Just take what resonates, leave the rest. Cameron. Gino. Lucas. Amanda. Christian. Peter. Theo Theodore. Theodore, Cynthia, Juan, Emily, Bert, Jules, Jules, um, I don't know if that's a nickname or if that's just the name Jules, um, this is the J-E-double-E-L-S, Jules, <sighs> Polly, Steve, Matt, Christy, Daniel, Julius, Adam, Sonora. I don't even know if that's a name, but I've never heard that before. Sonora, um, Ethan, Andrew, Aaliyah, Jamie. Marjorie, Corey, Janine, Michelle, Drew, Victor, Tommy, Reggie, Cassie, Brian, Megan, Heather, holy, you have a lot here. Um, so I'm thinking a lot of people are going to pick this pile. Will, Vincent, Ruth, Betty, Michael, Don, Samuel, Josh, Pedro, Adrian, Jesus, Louis. Nora, Lenny, Alan, Ronan, Ariana, Gabby, Marilyn, Donovan, J 
Jackson, Charlie. Okay, that's it for names. Um, let's go to specific situations here of people who could be too focused or obsessed on you, with you, sorry. Okay, I feel like you have a woman um, in your life. And if this is for a female who's watching, there's a woman in your life and I don't know who she is to you. I, don't, I can't really grasp if she's a friend or an acquaintance. This woman is severely jealous or obsessed with your body. I, I feel like I'm fluctuating between hate and envy but smiles in your face i i can't I, I can't figure out what this is she's obsessed um or jealous with your body um maybe this is like she has a weight issue and you're just you know maybe you're just always you know working out or that comes easy to you i feel like maybe she could be even watching your um social media and this is a form of jealousy i'm just feeling this I don't know if it's enough to hate you, but I feel like I'm definitely jealous. Like, why can't I have that? Like, and it could be that maybe you just have a great body without doing anything or you're like really into working out and that's a struggle for her. So I'm, I'm getting that uh, there's a woman uh, within your vicinity that's too focused and obsessed with that. Okay, that's bizarre. Um, Okay, I have one man who is very obsessed uh, with your behind, um, thinks about, oh God, how do I put this into and make this like, not so that it's not like a rated R situation here. Um, think about like if you were to do like a position in sex, okay, um, where you would be able to see the behind in the best light. This guy thinks about this all the time and he's obsessed with your butt. So I don't know if he is, you're catching glimpses of someone looking at your behind, but this guy is obsessed with your behind. And um, something that replays almost like a slideshow in his head is what it would be like to put you in a position from the back, okay? During intimacy. Okay, I have another male coming through who is obsessed with your feet. Um... If there's anybody who's on OnlyFans here who is selling feed pics, you have a client who is extremely obsessed. Now, if it's not that you're on OnlyFans, you could face that often in your life where people are obsessed or you get complimented a lot on your feet. And um, it's just really, they like really like them. I, I don't know. That, that's kind of coming through. Um, I don't really know how to like say anything more about that. Um, but there's just like obsession with the feet. Okay, there's someone who's here. Um, this is a first love. Um, still obsessed over you. And this was young love, like young, like in high school. If you are watching and you constantly dream about this person, yet you're over them and you don't understand why maybe they're coming back into your dream state, or if you're even aware of this person because they make it obvious. I have a male coming through who is still obsessed about you. And this was young first love. Like, I can't get over my first love, which is you. I feel like I'm hearing, like, most people are obsessed with you. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? That's what I'm hearing. Like, this is, I feel like maybe you clicked on this video um, for entertainment purposes only, which is what you should be doing. But I just heard most people are obsessed with you. Um, are you surprised? And, you know, it could be that, you know, again, this could be a common theme where I feel like I'm not good enough for you. So I'm not sure if people suppress it. If you feel like people are often suppressing their obsession when it comes to you. But I feel like you shouldn't be surprised. That's what I'm hearing. Um, okay, I just saw a male. Um, I know he's a male. I, I'm not really in, gonna get into like the characteristics of what he looks like, but I saw a male. Um, um, I feel like they just want to say something. Um, you're, I got like they've got it really bad for you, but they want you to know that you're the most beautiful when you're on the dance floor. I, I don't know what the heck that means. Um, I don't know if this is literally that you're a dancer or if like this person just loves to look at you on like the dance floor, like whether that be at a club, 
that could resonate for one person. I told you these are very specific type of messages. So just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So, but there is a male coming through who wants to say you're the most beautiful to them on the when you're on the dance floor. <clears throat> okay, I, there could be one woman who's watching. Um, I don't know if you wear crop tops, if this is a thing of yours. Um, there's a male, you drive this male crazy. And I don't know, like, it feels like someone who you are constantly seeing. So I don't know if this is a work situation, but... How could it be? Because I don't think you can wear crop tops, but there could be some professions where you can. Um, or this could be a school situation. I feel like I'm leaning more towards in school. Um, you drove me crazy with those crop tops is what I'm hearing. Um, okay. Um, okay, I have a, a male coming through and this feels like a divine masculine who keeps replaying um, over and over in his head your meeting like your initial meeting how interesting it was there's something very interesting about our meeting it wasn't like something you see every day and there's something about thinking about this or letting this replay over in my head that gives me some sort of comfort so there is a divine masculine coming through for someone out there who takes comfort in thinking about your initial meeting it was very intense it was very unique it's really cool is what I'm hearing. And I feel like I tried to kind of dig deeper to see what was so interesting. And I got that it was like there was something about the locking of the eyes. And that was very intense. It like sent a chill down my spine, but in a good way. That's what I'm hearing. Um, okay, there's one person here and I can't pick up whether it's female or male. So this could be both for both. Uh, whoever's watching you just slept with somebody and that person wants more so I don't know if you just recently um, was with somebody intimately but they're thinking about that that rendezvous and they want more so if you have somebody who is like trying to call you or can't stop calling you that's what that is um, <laughs> it was really good okay that's what I'm hearing Okay, I'm seeing another person um, that you may be having stolen glances with here and there. There's glances. The person I feel like works with you, but there's a lot of eye contact being made from their end. But I feel like they are kind of wishy-washy in their energy. So they might act like they don't like you, but really they do, but they're very curious. Um, there's something about curiosity here. And I don't know if it's that I like you, so I'm constantly looking or I'm curious about you, but I feel like they fluctuate in their energy. So you might have, might think that they hate you, but the person's actually quite curious. And I'm seeing this like from cubicles, which is weird. Um, or like an, it's like in the workplace and it could be because it's the workplace, it's very difficult. So I'm just seeing a lot of stolen glances. And this would give you an indication of who this is, is because you may think that the person, you can't really make or understand what type of eye contact it is. It's a little fluctuating. You know how there's eye contact where people like you and then there's other eye contact where it could be like a, a smirk or like a side eye? That's kind of what I'm seeing here. So it's kind of confusing. Oh, okay. This is interesting. This is a cool one. Okay, I'm seeing there's somebody who's here who constantly gets their coffee from the same place. I'm seeing a barista, a male barista who is like fatu infatuated with you, um, thinks you're the cutest thing, actually looks forward to you coming in. This is like a very boyish type person. And even if he's like 30, he comes across as boyish. I don't even know that like you should take him seriously um, or he can be taken seriously. But I'm seeing, and I'm seeing Starbucks. So I don't know if that's just giving me the indication that this is a coffee place or if this is literally Starbucks. Like, again, it will resonate with who it resonates. But I'm seeing a barista who really looks forward to you coming in. Like, you're like the highlight of their day. <laughs> that's funny. Um, very smiley type of person, you know, very upbeat. Um, I don't think the person's shy. I think they're kind of pleasant. Um, they may have not said anything about their feelings, but I think you caught an energy about it too that they like you. Um, okay, there could be somebody here, um, hmm, 
Okay, there could be somebody here who has um, had met somebody, um, found out they had a wife, discarded of them. This person is still kind of watching, watching you from a distance, um, but they have a wife and you found out and you were like, hell no, got to end this. That's what it feels like to me. Um, they still watch. That could be for one person out there. So think of a person who you kind of were into um, or that person was making advances towards you and then you found out, you know, like they had some, you know, a, a long-term relationship or they were in a marriage and you were like, you cut them off, you cut that off real quick. That person is still lingering energetically. Okay, I feel like there's also somebody here who constantly sees the same person commenting on their posts. I can't get an idea if you know this person or if this is a person who is just a random fan. Um, this person's also obsessed, and I think they make it known. This person actually makes it known, okay, um, through their commenting, their constant commenting. Ew. Oh, okay. Um, this one you might not even be aware of, although you may be. Who knows? Um, a friend of your father. Ew. Um, someone's father... Um, their friend is obsessed with you and, you know, I don't know how long they've been known you for, but that's just weird. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything more than that. Um, because I think there's a huge age gap. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think this person may have known you for a while, you know, even when you were kind of like a teen, but I, I just feel like there's a friend of the father. Okay, there could be one person who's here as well too where there's constantly this person who's always offering help. Whether that be with like, I don't know, I can fix your car, I can mow your lawn, I could do this, I could do that. That person's also obsessed and the way you can tell is because they're always wanting to help. So this person wants to help constantly. This is like your indication that this person's obsessed. Um, they're not just doing that for no reason. Okay, I feel like someone also who's here, wow, this is a lot. I wonder if all piles will be like this. Um, there's a divine masculine coming through. You two were separated. There was It was nobody's fault. It wasn't even like anybody maybe indicated it, like indicated the separation or um, started the separation. It's like I'm hearing the separation was no one's fault. This person um, is still thinking about you um, intensely. And it could have been a chance meeting where you felt connected, but the separation, it kind of came from the universe. Actually, it wasn't anyone's fault. There's someone of a there's someone who's watching who has a divine mask and who stay, still thinks about them intensely. Okay, we also have another divine masculine coming through who's overseas. They're a business traveler. Um, and this person, this divine masculine is very different. Um, he would never admit to his feelings. So he could be more of a stubborn divine masculine, but I'm seeing him with like a briefcase or like a bag. So I'm feeling like he's like a, a traveler, like for business. Like he's not even like a traveler for leisure. This is his business or he does something that requires travel. Um, that divine masculine is coming through. So don't look at like what he outwardly puts out because inside it eats away at him. Okay, I'm getting a sister, um, a sister. So whoever's watching, a sister is coming through, um, obsessed with you, but this is obsession slash hate. You are always more pretty. So I'm seeing like the Brady Bunch. I'm seeing like Jan and Marsha. There's a comparison here. Um, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> Why am I hearing that? You know, sometimes these things make sense after I post the video. But I'm just going to go with it. That's what I'm seeing. There's a sister who's obsessed with you. Um, I don't even know that she really even knows where this obsession comes from. Could be even past lives. But um, the problem or the trigger for her is that you were always the more prettier one. Okay, I'm also getting a mother that's coming through for one particular person here. Um, there could be an obsession with you, your way of life, because life has been easier for you than, the, than it was for them. So I'm getting like deep resentment, deep resentment. And it has to do with the fact that your life has been easier than theirs. That's unfortunate, but it happens. Um, 
but yeah, there's a mom coming through here. Okay, so that's it. Um, you know, if nothing resonated this time, just check back in a couple weeks. Not ever reading can. That would be absurd. But again, you know, if you like this reading or if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe because through doing that, I can better in tune tap into your energy uh, moving forward with future picker cards. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Hi, pal, too. Okay, so before we get into the reading, a few things to note. I just want to run you through how this is going to work. We're going to look at the cards for a general idea of why people or how, who is too focused or obsessed with you. Um, and then we're going to move into remote viewing. So if this doesn't resonate, make sure that you stick around because we're going to then tap into remote viewing where we're going to look at initials, um, names, and also uh, specific um, people who could be uh, too focused or obsessed with you. We're also going to look at astrological signs. Um, if there's anything uh, that you like about this reading, it's very important that you subscribe. By doing so, in future pick a cards, I can better tap into your energy. When doing that, there's something very magical about subscribing to this channel. Um, again, I can better pick up on, uh, you know, what's happening to you or what's going through, you know, going on through your life. Okay. Um, if you'd like to book a reading with me, check the first link in the description box. If you'd like to see more readings from me, check the second uh, link in the description box. So let's get into this reading. Um, and please excuse me as well, too. My voice could be a little crackly. I am just getting over a cold, okay? Um, so this is kind of intense um, when I'm looking at this. This is actually very um, specific. So again, you're going to have to stick around if this doesn't resonate with you, okay? I feel like predominantly what's coming through in this card spread is that you have a very tumultu tumultuous relationship there could be with a particular female in your life. Now... I can't tell if she is in your friend group or if she's a literally a family member. But what's interesting about this to me is the six of cups. You've met her before many times over. OK, um, I feel like with the death card sitting right under the six of cups, this also tells me, too, that there's somewhat of a transitioning happening every lifetime you go through. Something gets better or something heals. Um we have two women here. Um, it's interesting with the death between them. Now, you could feel like on the surface, you're very different from this person. Um, but what's the what's interesting about the lovers is that you guys are actually very alike. Okay, and there could be some of your negative traits um, that somehow clash because you have them in common. Okay, this could be a sister, this could be um a mother, any female that you know, and it could be even in the friend group. So we have here um, the three of cups, which is like three women in a, you know, circle with their cups of Patron. <laughs> so this could be your friend. But I just I feel like it's just been very difficult. Um, and you keep meeting this person over and over again, because there's something to work out. Now, it's interesting here. Um, I thought that this was really crazy when this came out. So if you can read this, it says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. This is a spiritual lesson, the two of you, okay? Um, there's forgiving and learning happening. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I feel like you keep bouncing her up lifetime to lifetime. And believe it or not, it actually gets better. So you could have started thousands of years ago as arch enemies, okay? But it gets a little better each time. There's something that needs to be worked out with her, but I feel like she's obsessed or too focused on you. She might not even be aware of why. You might not even be aware of why. It could be that type of relationship where it's just, I, I don't know what this is. I can't make sense of it. I mean, yes, there could be some people here who are very, high, very highly in tune and probably are equating it to something, you know, of a past life, but... um. I don't know. We have these two queens and they have their backs facing each other. So there's something of an understanding that needs to take place. But the topic is who is too focused and obsessed with you? It's this person. OK, they are coming through very strongly in the cards. Now, again, if this is not re like resonating with you, wait for the remote viewing. OK, because there could be some, um, you know, something there for you, a specific message that you don't want to miss out on. We have one-sided relationship and I still have growing to do. 
So the both of you could feel like this is a one-sided relationship. So they could feel that about you and you could feel that about them. Now, in some rare cases, rare cases, because I know twins are very, very close. Um, this could be a twin for some of you out there. But if it's not, um, you just are very alike, okay? The obsession, I feel like, comes from about hacking on or harboring on what the other person lacks. So they look at this relationship like it's one-sided. So it's all you. It's all about you. Like you're bad, you're this, you're that. You don't do this, you don't do that. And you probably have the same to say about them. Now, again, I still have growing to do. So this person does have growing to do, but so do you, okay? Now you have this card here. It says forgive someone. Um, now this could also be an indication too. I'm just looking at her hands, which I've never noticed that actually. This person could also have like a henna or wear henna on their hands. Um, so that could be an indication of maybe who this is, is for maybe one person out there. But I feel like forgiveness is a big deal with this. Um, I think that um, if we can kind of more understand from the other point of, person's point of view, um, it could go a little smoother. But this is tumultuous, okay? So this is like for one person out there or maybe many. Um, this is another female. Now, this is not a huge message. Um, so I'm going to get right into remote viewing, okay, to see what else is happening for other people who are have picked this pile. So please excuse me again. Um, you know, my voice is a little crackly. I am getting over a sickness, but also I tend to breathe very heavily when I am doing remote viewing because it does take a lot out of me. Okay. So let's um let's just start here. Um, we're gonna start with initials. K Y F T N D L C J Okay, let's move to signs now. Leo Scorpio Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius. Um, now I'm going to go into names. And again, if the names don't resonate, just stick around because we're going to go into specific um, people who are too focused or obsessed with you. Okay? So let's go to names. Darren, Louise, Louise. Selena, Mason, Ricky, Anne. Now, this all these all might also be your names. Um, so just take what resonates. It could be uh, your name I'm speaking, or it could be uh, the person who's obsessed. Um, Murphy, that could also be a last name. Um, so you know, I don't know. This is Murphy. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody named that in my lifetime, but yeah, Murphy. So it could be a last name. Melinda, Emma, Sophie, Lisa, Raquel, Tony, Curtis, Walter, Dora, Sherry, Brenda, Paul, Ben, Mia, Evelyn, Kevin, Edward, Keith, Sean, Noah, Noah. Philip, Jordan, Austin, Mateo, Henry, Finn, Ryan, Connor, Heidi, Ava, Cindy, 
Sebastian, Tanya, Trevor, Damien, Adeline, Alicia, Perez, um, Perez, might be a last name, Valerie, Victoria, Junior, Jack, Tyrone, Lewis, Kaylee, Annie, Kayla, Rachel, Natalie, Aaron, Lynette, Abigail, Cynthia, Dina, Michaela, Trish, Elaine, Ag Agatha, Deirdre, Deirdre, Tracy, Gurpreet, Ian, Amber, Jillian, Cassie, and Stephanie. Okay. Um, okay, let's move into specific uh, people, okay, who could be too focused or obsessed with you. Okay, I have a sister-in-law coming through. Sister-in-law who is obsessed or too focused on you, okay? Reason for that, there's a triggering happening within her. And it could be that when you came into the family, you became more likable. And I don't know if this is that you're likable to the mother or who this is, the family. But you are likable and that is what triggers her. She'll never let you know why that is. But this is a sister-in-law. That's kind of something I'm seeing predominantly. Like sister-in-law. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. I have a baby daddy. Baby daddy. I don't even use this terminology. But baby daddy. Um, you cut, somehow left his ass. Uh, grew out of him. And he thought you'd be there forever. So there's something of a surprise effect here. That's happened. This person's obsessed with you or too focused. So if they're making your life hell, that would be an indication. But I feel like this person's also could be in a way subtly trying to get back into your good graces. But I'm hearing a baby daddy, baby daddy, very clearly. Okay, I have a neighbor coming through, a male neighbor. This is a very attractive man. Um, he could be even like a burly man or like a man man, you know, like a, a construction guy or someone who's always walking around with his shirt off. Um, I don't know what this is, but he's masculine. Like he's got he's got a good body. Um, hot. This is a hot guy. He's interested. Um, he's very focused on you. Not sure if you are aware, um, but I feel like he's quite making it obvious um but he's a neighbor he's a neighbor in the area like on the same street um okay i'm seeing as a collective of people who chose this pile that there could be quite a huge obsession with your hair um i'm seeing somebody smelling hair so i feel like when people do become obsessed with you your hair could be indicative of that so what do i mean by that um it could be honestly a trait that makes you likable to people. I know it sounds very mundane or um, somehow superficial, but it happens, okay? So there's something very beautiful about the hair. And maybe this is something that you get complimented on a lot, but I'm getting like a lot of people obsessed with your hair. So as a collective of people who chose this, not just even particularly like one person. Okay, I have a client, a client who's coming through. Um, this is a person who's obsessed, but I'm not sure how that looks because it's a client. So I don't know if this is repeated business, 
Um, so this could be positive, very positive. So anybody out there who has a business, um, you could have a client or and or clients who are completely obsessed with you. And it could be like positive where they love what you do. They just want to keep booking you. Um, maybe it's like what you do, like your work, but it's like, I, it could be one client in particular, but it could be a, like a, a collective of clients. Um, very obsessed with who you are and what you offer. That's nice. Okay, I have a cousin coming through who doesn't like you. Um, very focused on you, but I feel like this person is um, programmed by their parents somehow. So I don't know if their parents don't like your parents or there's drama between your cousin's parents and your parents, but I feel like most of the time, when this person is creating drama with you or they're too focused on you or they're giving you issues, it's not even coming from them. It's like this person is a puppet. Weird, a cousin, that's a cousin specifically coming through. Drama between their parents and your parents. <sighs> okay, um, there could be one person here as well. I'm having a boss come through. This is an older male, a little creepy to me. Um, I don't know if they have access to your Facebook or your Instagram, but this guy watches from the shadows. Um, and it's more than just like, you know, making sure that you're the right candidate or like, you know, are you a good fit for the company? Um, this is watching for other reasons. Like they're very focused on you. Um, but also obsessed, and it could be that your life is, I don't know, interesting, or you could be very beautiful to them, but this is an older male, like older than you. This is a boss. Now, it could be a boss, and it's not, there's no age gap, but this person, I, I don't know, if, you, if they have access to your Facebook or whatever, they could be watching, okay? Um, like heavily, like daily, I feel like checking in. I'm seeing like checking in. <clears throat> Okay, so there could be somebody here who's uh, watching who has a husband. I don't mean to bash on your husband at all, but I'm seeing like a husband who is obsessed, but could be a little bit in a, in a healthy way. And it looks like maybe they question where you're going or they don't like when you go out. Um, it feels unhealthy to me. And again, I'm just picking up what I'm seeing. I'm not here to like insult your relationship, but I feel like there's a husband here. And they're obsessed or too focused on you in an unhealthy way where there could be something of like trying to block freedom, okay? Okay, there could be one person watching here who's a teacher. Now, don't take this out of context. This is actually like a very innocent thing. Um, you could have a crush in the class, um, someone who is crushing on you. Um, it is a younger boy. I, I don't feel like it's anything like, you know, too young. It feels like teenager to me or approaching teenagerhood who has a little bit of an innocent crush on you. That's funny. Um, but again, don't take this out of context. This is um, a very innocent thing. You know, just what boys do, you know, um, those natural things that happen um, when you're approaching, I guess, puberty or you're in puberty. Um. Okay, I have a friend coming through of someone who's watching. Could potentially be an Aquarius, but might not be. Be careful. Watch this person's movements because I feel like these, this person, whether they're aware of it or not, could be subtly plotting your downfall. And that I know is very strong words to use, but that could look like very, very... That could look like something as simple as... Um, pitting you against another friend okay or you know maybe I don't know um sabotaging something that could be very good for you but um they don't want you to have it something like that but I just I feel like there's a plotting your downfall um you're a trigger for them maybe within the group um they want to be the alpha this just feels bizarre to me and it's a female so if you're a female watching it's a female and again, could be an air sign. I feel like Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. 
Can I have a man coming through who has the most weirdest laugh I've ever heard? It, it feels like almost, it sounds like, sorry, almost like evil in a way. This person's obsessed with you, has a huge crush, um, and you'll know them by their weird laugh. That's kind of what I'm hearing, weird laugh. And it doesn't mean that they're weird. Their laugh is just, I don't know, it's just annoying. Um, okay, I have another man who's coming through, and this is a man that you know through couples. So if you are a couple and you go out with other couples, this is the husband of the girl that you go out with. He secretly is obsessed or focused on you. Um, I'm not sure if he's making it a, a, something that he's aware of, or you could be feeling like you're getting a vibe. You're absolutely accurate with that, okay? Okay. Um, one of you could have a friend who is a secret, on the secret, down low, like lesbian, okay? And is very attracted to you. Now, that's not really a warning. You might even be aware of it. But there could be some people who are not even aware of this. One of your friends literally wants you. Um, I don't know that they're a full one. They could be bi or curious. But I feel like if they could do anything with anybody, it would be you. So you, they would, you would be the one that they would want to try something with. Oh, my God. That's interesting. Um, it always amazes me what comes through here. Okay, so that's all I'm picking up for pile two. Um, if nothing resonated this time, just check back in a couple weeks. Not every reading can resonate. That would be absurd. But um, if you did like this reading or if it resonated at all, um, make sure you subscribe so that I can, again, better pick up on your energy when I'm reading um, for future pick of cards. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Hi, pile three. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. I just want to run you through it. Uh, we're going to look at the cards first to get a general idea of who is too focused or obsessed with you. And then we're going to move into remote viewing. So if this doesn't resonate um, with what I pick up on the cards, make sure you stick around because we are going to tap into remote viewing. Now, if there's anything that you like about the rain or if it resonates, make sure you subscribe. By doing that, I can better pick up on your energy in the future with future pick of cards. If you'd like to book a reading with me, check the first link in the description box. If you'd like to see more readings from me, um, check the second link in the description box, okay? So let's get started here. And excuse me too, I'm just recovering from a cold, so don't mind if my voice is a little crackly, okay? So this is a lot, okay? Um, I would say we're on pile three at this point. This is the most in intense energy I've picked up um, so far, okay? As far as being focused on, or um, there's an obsession happening, you, uh, you probably are aware to some degree of this obsession that's coming from this person. Now, this is crazy to me when I was shuffling. I got twin flame and I got soulmates. So this is, I feel like, uh, could be more than one person obsessed with you. Um, but there's a soulmate that's obsessed with you and there's also a twin flame. So let's just go very slowly. Let's talk about this about the soulmate, okay? I feel like with the soulmate here, um, this was something that could have been very toxic. So don't be surprised if you have an ex and you're watching this and you have an ex who is completely focused on you. It's like you probably wish at this point that they would like F off for real because it's becoming like too much for you to deal with, okay? I feel like this person is still trying to catch you or still trying to catch up to your energy, with this five of pentacles, it's interesting to me because I feel like, you see how he's uh, chasing after her? She doesn't want any part with this anymore. Like he's causing too much stress. Now, if this is a little, literally a soulmate that you're dealing with right now, who um, you're kind of not doing too well with, or you're thinking that maybe a breakup's on the, like, you know, it's coming soon. This could also apply to you. I just feel like there's constant aggravation. Uh, regarding this person and chaotic energy okay we have a, a five of pentacles here uh, sorry five of wands and with the ten of wands like we're tired and it could have a lot to do with like how slow they've like they, they've been um you know with the nine of pentacles this is very slow energy so maybe there was things that you wanted from them or you wanted them to move in a certain way and it just like just wasn't happening or they weren't able to fulfill you know, what you needed from them. I just feel like this person, like you've moved on or you're kind of like your energy has moved on. So this could be an ex-boyfriend 100% or this could be someone you're with right now 
where you feel like with the tower, like it's like separation's inevitable. Okay. Now we have here codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person could be addicted to something, which is you, or they could be literally addicted to something. Okay. Um, but I feel like with this relationship, it's like been very codependent. You know, it wasn't healthy. And then we have wedding. The situation involves marriage. So this could be an ex-husband as well, too. Or you could just feel like this person that is obsessed with you or focused on you, you were probably married to um, before. Or it felt like, I don't know, when this person came in, um, it moved very quickly somehow. Now, we have these two cards here. I wish I had treated you better. And I love you. So whoever these people are, and I'm going to get into the twin flame in a bit. They do love you, um, but there's a lot of regret on their end. And what I love about this card coming up was that this woman is totally in her power. Do you see like all those um, glowing circles above her head? She's just completely in her power. She's removed all her limiting labels, you know? And I feel like it could be that with this person... Um, you weren't completely in your power, but now that you've kind of released them or you're starting to, you're becoming like in your power completely. Now, she also is glowing. She's totally in her power. She's glowing up. She's maybe even on the glow up as we speak. Um, you could be attracting a lot of people who are obsessed with you at this moment because there's something even spiritual happening to you. So what happens when a woman, let's be real, what happens when a woman shifts into her power does she not become automatically attractive it doesn't even matter what she looks like on the outside okay there's just something that's changed and people can feel that you know when you're in your power and you feel like you are just powerful and you can do whatever you want and maybe you know she is maybe there are some of you out there who have been working on your body or your appearance you know and you look the best you've ever looked um, that could also be causing people to be very, very obsessed with you, okay? Um, it's just very symbolic for me. Like I said, those circles that are above her head, um, she's very in her power right now. Um, so now let's get to like the twin flame. And this Wheel of Fortune is here, which is interesting. So there's something very karmic about this connection. It's not a random connection. It's not a casual meeting of minds. And like, again, it's either a soulmate or a twin flame. Now let's move to the twin flame, okay? Um, the meaning between you two could have been very intense with the tower. And I feel like all the same things stay here. Uh, just like the soulmate, like chaotic energy, overwhelmed. Maybe this person also took too long. Could have been like, you know, with what they you know, the, want to express, their feelings. Maybe even like making a move. Um, you also are somehow in your power regarding that. So maybe you've shifted into kind of like, Okay, I'm taking my focus off this person and it's just going to be about me. And um, that's also causing something energetic to happen here where even the twin flame is obsessed. So interesting with this pile, it's very much, um, there's an energy of um, this whole thing of what's causing people to be obsessed with you. It's energetic more than anything. And it's also about boundaries and uh, walking from away from what doesn't serve you. But that also is giving you some sort of power, okay, at the end of the day. And that's what's causing these people to be obsessed. So you could have walked away from both. Who knows? There could be somebody watching here who has a soulmate and a twin flame at the same time. And there's something about your energy that is just moving away from who you used to be and what they're used to, okay, uh, with respect to you. You know, maybe you took a lot from them. Maybe you gave them many chances. I don't know. Okay, I'm so sorry for my voice, guys. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm just going to try and drink some water. Okay, so this is enough. I feel like I'm going to read with the cards. We're going to move now into remote viewing. Um, this is where, you know, make sure you stick around um, because maybe uh, the names might not resonate, but the initials will. But I'm also going to move into specific people um, who are obsessed with you or to focus on with you in in this very moment, okay? So um, let's just go very slowly and please excuse me if I, you know, you catch me breathing very deeply. Remote viewing does take a lot out of me, okay? Let's start with initials. C, B, F, T, 
T H S M D. Okay, let's go to astrological signs. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra. Okay, let's move on to names. And again, if none of the names resonate, um, just wait for the specific uh, people who are going to come through um, next, okay? Um, Jennifer, <clears throat> Alexis, and these could be your names as well too. So just take that as well too, that this could just be a verifying that this is the reading for you. Rebecca, Trixie, Danielle, Roy, Ken, Wendy, Will, Cam, Javier, Javier, Matt, Julian, Sarah. Okay, I'm seeing the name Patel. Patel. I don't know if that's a last name. Could be. Olivia, Josiah, Nolan, Everett, Brandon, Hunter, Carson, Kyle, Adam. Okay, I'm seeing the name Sawyer. I think that's a last name. Um, Aiden, Zach, Calvin, Blake, Preston, Reed. I'm seeing the name Reed. Clark, Nick, Isaiah, Sean, Jason, Quincy, Taylor, Trent. Okay, I can't figure out if this is Max or Mac. Sounds the same, Max or Mac. Uh, Neil, Wesley, Nelson, Wayne, Joe, Jamal, Roland, King, Karen, Randy, Azriel, Azriel, Carlo, Jeremiah, Renee, Yaakov, I, I don't even know if this is a name, Yaakov, um, okay, um, so that's all I'm picking up with names, let's move into specific people, okay, oh wow, this is actually nice, um, okay, so I'm, this is my first time picking this up without, with, from all the piles, I have a grandfather. I see him symbolically looking over from the clouds. So this is my way of saying that he's in spirit. Um, he's watching you. He's a spirit guide. He's complete. Oh my God, that's so cute. So the grandfather wants to come through in a cute way because we're talking about being too focused or obsessed. He wants to say like in the most cutest way, I'm totally obsessed with you, honey. I'm watching you from um, heaven and I'm guiding you along in, in this journey of life. So cute. Um, that could be specifically for one person, someone who was very close to their grandfather. Okay, I'm seeing the word Karen, and it's not about the name. It's about what we call a Karen. I feel like I'm poking the bear, and I'm trying to get a rise. I'm trying to get a rise out of you. Be careful, because this person, this woman's intention is to get you into trouble, okay? Okay. So I don't know if she's trying to provoke like a verbal reaction or even a physical reaction, but she wants to get you into trouble. So I don't know what this is, but she's being shown to me as a Karen, like trying to poke the bear. Weird. Okay. Okay, I have a divine masculine coming through. Um, this divine masculine 
was not able to express themselves, okay? I feel like I'm actually seeing the throat chakra, throat chakra blocked. So it's almost not even their fault. They think about this. Um, um, they think about this a lot. Um, and it's it's you, but it's also mainly like the expressing and how they kind of um, miss the ball on that. But I'm seeing their throat chakra blocked. So I feel like it's not even their fault. And I don't know why the throat chakra is blocked. That's like a reading for another day because <laughs> there could be so many reasons why that's happening or that happened. Um, but they think a lot about how they miss the boat on expressing their feelings to you. That's a divine masculine. Okay. Okay, this is funny. I have a cat coming through. This cat doesn't feel like it's in spirit, although it may be, but I just don't feel like it is. They're completely obsessed with you. And that's kind of funny because cats are not really that type, right? Like they're more independent, but this cat is so obsessed. And how you'll know is because they always want to stare into your eyes. And this cat, might, this cat might be black, might be a black cat or predominantly black, but it, it's a cat period. So again, because this is a general reading, um, that could be for many people, but You'll know they're obsessed because they always want to look at you in your eyes. That's really cute. Okay, I have a woman um, coming through. I don't know if she's a friend of yours, but I feel like she's has a check. It's like symbolic. She has like um, like you know, on those like those papers that are on a clipboard, and I feel like she's tracking movements. That's how it's being shown to me. So I don't know if you have a friend who I feel like is a little bit forceful always wants to know where you're at but i feel like this woman's obsessed and it feels possessive to me if more than anything um it's unhealthy that's for sure because if she's just a friend uh why would she think she could have you on a schedule like that or know your whereabouts constantly that's what i'm seeing so there's a woman coming through for someone here okay i have like an ex-husband um, or boyfriends I can't tell if it's a husband or a boyfriend who's refusing to leave your life I don't know if they're showing up constantly randomly places that they shouldn't be um, I don't know if they're trying to make you feel sorry for them but I feel like energetically this person is trying to make it very difficult for you to move on and again this is an ex-husband or an ex-boyfriend. Okay, I have a DM coming through, Divine Masculine, who chose to be with somebody else, who's now regretting this. Um, they're regretting the choice, and the, the reason why they're too focused is because it's mainly of the regret, and they are aware of what you are now, like maybe the connection or your worth. And I know that sounds terrible, but that's just what's coming through. So this is mainly and predominantly a divine masculine who chose to be with somebody else. Okay, I have a crush in the workplace, a crush who's coming through, very focused on you, um, so much so that they're very nervous around you and how you can maybe kind of better pick up on who this is, is the person could be very obvious. They could be like sweating dropping things I don't know but this is in the workplace oh my god this is kind of um it's cute and sad at the same time because you don't want a man to be like too much like this because then he won't ever approach right he'll just be too nervous but I you make him very nervous um he's very uh, stunned by your beauty um you really in his eyes are like the most beautiful thing he's ever seen and I think because of that pedestal that he's put in his head regarding you this is why you can't behave properly, but you have a crush in the workplace. Okay, so that's all that's coming through. Um, if, you know, nothing resonated this time, just check back in a couple weeks. Not every reading can resonate. Um, that would be absurd. But definitely, if you liked the reading or if something did resonate um, with you, make sure you subscribe because then I can future in the future with my future pick of arts, pick up on your energy better and uh, relay messages that you need to hear. So thanks, Pile 3. Have a great day. Hi, Pile 4. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, so uh, I just want to run through how this is going to work. 
Uh, first, we're going to look at the cards in front of us um, for a general idea of who is obsessed or too focused on you. And then we're going to move into remote viewing. Okay, so if this doesn't resonate, make sure you wait till you watch the whole reading because there could be something that resonates within the remote viewing. So we're going to look at what the remote viewing names, initials, and zodiac signs. And then we're going to move into specific specific people who may be um, obsessed with you or very focused on you at this moment. Now, uh, if you'd like to book a reading with me, check the first link in the description box. If you'd like to see more readings from me, check the second link in the description box. Um, if you like anything about this reading, it's very important that you subscribe. By doing so, I can better pick up on your energy um, with future pick -a -tards, okay? So it's very important. It's something that happens that is very magical by subscribing to the channel. I can better in tune, uh, focus on your energy and pick up future predictions for you. Okay, so let's just go very slowly here. Um, okay. Wow. Um, with this one, it's interesting to me. It feels very general um, in the sense that I'm not seeing anything specific here. And that's where the remote view can come in. But with this one, I feel like you, this is probably a pile who has had many, many obsessive people um, after them, okay? I feel like you're represented by the nine, um, nine of Pentacles here as the first card. You could be an above average looking female, but not just that. If it's, so it's not, if it's not about looks, um, it could be that you're very highly successful or you just have the full package. Nine of Pentacles energy, we'll talk about a very abundant person. And I apologize for my voice. I'm just recovering from an illness. Um, so a little cold. So don't mind if my voice sounds a little cracky. Just focus on the messages. So with the Knight of Pentacles again and the Magician, you could be very talented. This is a very like susceptible person to, uh, you know, people being obsessed. Um, you're interesting as F, okay? You're interesting as F. Like what tells me that is um, the Knight of Pentacles with the Magician. Like you just got to go in on. So it could be even like a dope ass personality. Um, someone who, um, just has it going on, attracts people effortlessly. Um, very interesting, but I feel like a lot of your obsessive, uh, obsessive people or people who have been obsessed with you have been very, very, um, scandalous about it. Okay. I feel like with the hermit and the moon, you've never been completely sure. So there probably has been some people who have been obsessed, who weren't very obvious about it, um, or tried to hide it. But then you have the other ones who have been very aggressive about it. And I don't really like the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Swords, to be honest. This looks to me like very aggressive sexually. So you probably have felt like maybe you just don't know what it is about you. But like you just always attracted like people in a sexual way. And it's interesting because here we have you are perfectly beautiful. So there is an emphasis, I cannot lie, on the physical beauty. And please note on the card, there's all different types of shapes, here's and colors. So don't sit there and say, like, I don't really think I'm that beautiful. Like, the eye, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder for real, okay? Um, that Shallow Hell movie was not made for no reason, <laughs> okay? So I just, I feel like here, no matter what you look like, there could be a strong obsession towards uh, your outer, be outer beauty. Now... Again, like, I feel like we're getting a plethora of obsessive people, but everyone's acted different. Like, you've had some people who you didn't, weren't aware of it, or they were sly about it, and then you've had others who have tried to literally take you down, and it, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it could be mainly in the workplace with the Three of Pentacles, absolutely, like, trying to one-up you, or maybe your whole life you felt like that, you know? Like, why are people constantly trying to one-up me? Like, I just show up here, like, as, as this innocent person, and people are just trying to, like, outspeak me, outdo me. It's, like, almost like you feel to some degree, like, you invoke comp competitiveness out of people, okay? Um, but again, here, there could have been a lot of sexual um, obsessiveness coming from others. And then you have here, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So... I don't know if that's a common theme in your life where you've always had to pay attention to red flags because maybe ever since you were a kid, you know, there was just always this competitive nature that surrounded you. Like why people felt like they had to do that, I don't know. Something along those lines. Now you have, I have sexual fantasies about you and you have your fights, arguments and conflict. So you could feel like a lot of your fights 
um, with people or like the conflict you've experienced with others has been like you probably felt energetically like there was this underlining theme that really they were trying to start trouble just because they were obsessed or jealous. Um, and it wasn't even really a thing. You know, there was not even anything really to fight about. It's just these people were triggered somehow by me. OK, um, and again, I have sexual fantasies about you. I think you provoked that a lot. And again, it could be because of a plethora of reasons I just mentioned, okay? Now, again, with the Nine of Pentacles, you could be very in your power. You could be even, you know, never mind the looks. You could just be a woman or a man who walks in their power. Um, so, you know, head up, chin up. I got this, you know, alpha energy, you know, nothing can get me down. That alone will trigger the F out of people. If you don't think it will, then you haven't lived because... People these days um, are so triggered by confident people. Instead to take it and learn something, they just go into these lower energies of, um, you know, jealousy or, you know, whatever, hate, okay? So this, to me, with this pile, pile four, all these cards make me feel like this has been a general theme in your life, okay? So we're, we're asking the pick a card is asking who is obsessed or to focus on you. You pick this pile, you may have felt like this has just been a common theme in your life. So it's not even like I'm clicking on the video to find out who because there's been so many, okay? So what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to move to the remote viewing, okay? Now again, stick around for the specific people if the names don't resonate or the zodiac signs. Um, also know that these could be your zodiac signs, your initials, or your names, um, this is could be also why uh, it's, you know, coming through to just verify that this is your pile. OK, so let's start. Let's start with initials. Um, and I apologize if there's extra heavy breathing. That's just my way of getting through the remote viewing. E. M. L. T. C. F, W, P, Q, and N. Okay, let's move to the zodiac signs. Taurus, Aries. I feel like there's going to be a lot of Aries that picks the, pick this pile. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Gemini, Virgo. Okay, let's move to names. <clears throat> Andrew, Gabriel, Tiffany, Gia, Patrick, Mario, Stephen, Emma, Mark, Penny, Penny, Heidi, Deborah, Leticia, Ashley, Alex, Adriana, Richard, Nancy, Charlotte, Cindy, Mandy, Mandy, I think that's short for Amanda, but I'm hearing Mandy, Rochelle, Isabella, Anita, Lisa, Drea, Costa, some of these might be uh, last names. Samantha, Joanne, Christy, Peter, Julia, Cedric, Garth, Fernando, 
Sam. I'm seeing the name Sam. I don't even know if is that a name. I think only Kim Kardashian has a kid named that. Um, P S A L M. Not sure if that's significant to somebody, but I'm seeing the word Sam. Jerry. Jericho. Lynn. Emily. Mary Jo. Grace. Nicole. Janine, Omar, Paolo, and Courtney. Hmm. Okay, so let's move on to the specific people now. Okay, I'm feeling collectively with this pile, so this is not targeted to one particular person. I feel like people are watching what you have. I'm seeing specifically jewelry, but this is possessions, period. So I'm not sure if you are concerned about that, but people are watching that. And that would line up with the Knight of Pentacles, but I'm seeing someone who has a lot of nice possessions. People's eyes are on those, those things. Okay, again, I'm feeling collectively not geared towards one person. I'm seeing like you walking into a room and time is stopping. Like there's almost like a shift that happens when you enter. I can't tell if it's a mixture of your energy mixed with your looks, but there's something happening here when we are walking into a room. I'm feeling like time stops. <clears throat> okay, this is interesting. Um, so I have a friend of your friend. Who doesn't like you? Weird. Um, I feel like in some cases, um, this friend might even stalk your social media or have added you. So this is a friend of your friend that you don't even, it's your friend's friend that you don't even hang out with. And there could be some cases here where she has even tried to add you and you thought that was very weird. Like, why are you adding me? We don't even hang out. She doesn't like you. She's watching you. I don't know if she's territorial around her friend or what's the problem, but she doesn't like you. And this is, again, a friend of your friend. Okay, so I have a younger male coming through. And so who, whatever, you know, age you are watching, this is a younger male. Like, I want to say 10 years difference. Um fantasizing about you immensely okay and I don't know if he's in the workplace but he doesn't have to be but he is smitten with you and you are like the epitome of like an older woman and I think he feels all kinds of things towards you like you may know some things in bed like he would love to have one night with you uh okay um <laughs> let's move on um okay I'm seeing a gym and I'm seeing a male um who's watching you i think this male happens to be there at the same time as you often not that it's of his own doing it just happens to be and i'm seeing like him working out and then he stops to kind of glance at you i feel like this male secretly hopes that you will be there at the same time as him he might be even if he notices you coming at a certain time adjust his schedule to show up there at the same time as you but I would say if you could or if you're even curious about this and you have an inkling as to who this is, watch because watch him because he's watching you. And this is in a gym. I'm seeing like this thing, you know, when you like this uh, exercise machine where you go like this, I'm seeing him on that machine watching. Very, very intrigued and curious about you. Okay, I have an ex coworker coming through. She is a female. She still talks about you even though you've gone. Uh, like, this is so petty to me. So I'm seeing her making jokes here and there um, with a bunch of people in an office maybe or wherever this may be um, and still brings up your name to kind of make fun of you. But, like, you've been long gone, so I'm not sure why she's doing this. Like, um, you shouldn't even be in the conversation because it's been so long that you've been there. Hmm. Okay, I have a stepmother coming through. Stepmom never liked you. You never liked her. Something was off. She's from a past life. She's from a past life. She's a past life enemy. I'm getting that very strongly. So there's a mom here 
not the real mom, a stepmother. You were a threat somehow. So this is a stepmother who's obviously older than you. She never grew up, okay? Because to think that a child um, is a threat, that means you haven't grown, okay? Okay, I see a divine masculine sitting by like rocks and it feels to me it's on like a beach. And it to me, it's symbolic for like this man's alone time. He thinks a lot about your meeting. So we have a divine masculine coming through. And I feel like this man is um, replaying over and over. Well, that's weird. I replay our conversations over and over. That I didn't even bring up when I was reading for you. So that actually is for that divine masculine. Um, but I think generally, too, you must be very intelligent or you say a lot of interesting things. So when people are obsessed with you, they do dissect what you say. So I have a divine masculine who, in their alone time, it brings them comfort to think about you. Okay, I, I don't want anyone to get scared right now. Please just bring it down a notch. I'm just going to say that I do see somebody online. They're like online and there are like, it's like a routine for them to check up on what you're doing. So I don't know if you are a person, could be one of you out there who's watching, who has many different platforms, whether that be LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, blah, blah, even maybe YouTube. Um, this person is completely um, watching but it's a lurker to me because they might be completely straight faced when they see you in person. But behind the scenes, this person has a, a plethora of emotions happening to them regarding you. So I feel like this person is a little bit of um, a two face and it does feel like it's a man. Doesn't show you one bit in the least that they're interested in you in person, but behind the scenes, I feel like they're constantly fishing on the internet for information about you and maybe constantly looking at like photos of you. So if you don't have your stuff on private, that could be a situation here. Okay, I have a dog, a dog. I think it's like a lab. It's very cute. It's a lab coming through. Very obsessed with you. You were like their best owner, best owner they've ever had. Um, obsessed with you wants to go everywhere with you doesn't even want you to leave totally obsessed and i'm seeing like a lab and I, I, I feel like i want to say like the the blonde haired ones but it could be like the darker haired ones too but i'm just mainly seeing like the lab the lab breed okay so that's um, all i'm picking up this time around for pile four so if nothing resonated this time please check back in a couple weeks not every reading can resonate. That would be absurd. But if there was anything that resonated or if you enjoyed it at all, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. That way I could pick up on your energy in future Pricka cards. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day.